This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries. I'm working on their physical computing unit, and I'm on the lesson program design process. The check when function. The last function that you need to figure out is check when function, which after each player is moved and is used, which after each player is moved and is used to both check if that player has made made it to the bottom of the screen and to announce the winner if necessary. For now, we're just going to find out where the player is and log it to the console. Do this. Just like the move player function, check win takes a single parameter called player. If you call check win red, so if you ask the computer to run the function and put the word red there, it's going to look, then the variable player will have the value of red, which is coincidentally um, the red figure of our game. Find where the function is defined. Show me. Yep, and so a definition means where we create it. That is where the start function is created. Create a variable called player y and assign it the y property of the player. Okay, so check win. Oh, it's way down there. I was going to say, what? And here's our parameter, right? Our check win player parameter. I'm going to just add some space here so it's easier. All right. Now, we need a new variable, and that variable is going to be like we did in the last portion of this lesson, player underscore y, and then we need to assign it, right? So now we have a variable player y. We're going to say get the property from what ID. Well, the ID is going to be different each time. Whatever ID we put as a parameter when we call this, right? Because right now we're creating the function. We're not using it. None of this code will run yet. It's just encased in this little function box. Okay, so the player is what we want and what part we want the Y. Whatever that's equal to, whatever we get the Y from. So if we call check win right here, check win red, the computer looks around and says, okay, what? Oh, here's a function. Oh, player red. Okay. So variable player Y is going to be equal to get property. And this is a different player. This is player underscore Y, not just player. So get property Y. Get property player. Oh, what was player? Player. Uh, oh, yeah. We mean red when we're saying that. Okay. So get the ID of red. I got red. Now what do you want? Oh, the Y location. Okay. Now, player underscore y is going to be set equal to that. Then, we want to log it to the console. Let's log it to the console. Play the game with only one button, keeping an eye on the player y. Oh, and decide when it should be the bottom of the screen. Okay. I feel like that's a win for me. So I'm going to say 400-ish. I guess you get to pick. Play the game with only... Yep, decide what the... Oh, okay. 400-ish. Is that it for this level? I think so. Cool. All right, let's keep going. 